Hello everyone, it's Francesco here and we're going to be reviewing a new application uh, called Newton Mail. You may know it beforehand from my channel or any blogs that I've recommended, but Cloud Magic has been changed to Newton Mail, uh, a emailing application that has some real good bonuses. So what I wanted to do today is I wanted to run over what it's like on iOS uh, and also wanted to run over what it's like on Mac OS too. So it's aiming to be a sort of email provider, but a sort of premium, reliable email provider. It is essentially uh, a download on iOS, Android. Uh, it also works on tablets for both of these. Android Wear and also Apple Watch 2. It's also available on Mac OS, which is quite nice. So it's available on pretty much every service. One place it's not available is the web app. So you're really reliant on you know your devices having software that allows you to install Newton. So as you can see, uh, it's down at the bottom in my dash area because the reason I'm doing that is because obviously that's normally where I put all of my mail applications. So down here uh, is Newton Mail. Um, the lovely guys at Newton Mail gave me a subscription for one, no, a lifetime subscription, which is really kind of them. So thank you very much. I was lucky enough to interview Rohit, the CEO, a couple of, uh, maybe a couple of months ago, and really nice guy, and they've got a really clear vision for what they want. Now, previously, if you don't know, Cloud Magic was a sort of email application. It checked all the boxes. I recommended it heavily to students um, because. It sort of was quite fun and playful. Uh, it was quite easy to use as well. Um, the only thing that's really changed in the experience is a few details, a few of the core features, but the sort of aesthetic itself hasn't really changed. The only thing that has changed is the branding and the sort of experience around it. But apart from that, not really a great deal has changed. So let's get stuck in. So when you start off um, on iOS, for example, you can, so you can plug in lots of different email providers. Uh, let me just go into detail and show you which one. So I've plugged in Gmail and uh, Office 365. They work great. You can also plug in Google Apps, Office 365, Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, .com, Exchange, iCloud and iMap, which is pretty good. So you've sort of kitted out when you start off with it, which is nice. Um, as you can see, you get a really nice sort of like dashboard. And as you hit that, you can see all of your folders at any given time. Um, as you can see, it's a very simple experience. So if, for example, if I clicked into this one, uh, an email that's just an email sort of list, uh, but uh, it's got a few decent features inside here. So what I want to do is run through them. So in the list, you can actually use the swipe feature uh, to sort of um, yeah, go through and, and swipe each one. And over here, you can archive it. Over here, you can you can actually delete it. If I go back, um, you can even move it to a folder or have it as an unread. You can star it over here, which is quite nice. And once you click in, you can obviously reply to it and uh, you know save it directly to any of the services and integrations they've got. I'll explain that in a minute. But you can also print it as well. But these sort of features down here at the bottom, you can see the sort of icons. They appear, so you've got uh, delete, uh, you've got unread, you've got spam, you can move it to a folder. And there's a feature down here, which is quite cool, called snooze. You can keep it for later. So there's lots of different options for snooze. You can actually go into detail and edit exactly what an afternoon is for you or an early morning. Um, and that's a good way for you to sort of pick it up. You can also actually pin it to your desktop. So if you've got the Mac version, uh, if it's an email that requires you to own email on desktop, let's say someone sent you a download link that's for you, then you can pin it to your desktop and actually go there later, which is quite a cool feature. So it actually allows you to notify yourself when you want that person, when you, when you specifically want to follow up on that person. You can actually snooze it or notify that it when the person's read. Um, in the premium, and I'll go into more detail on the premium side of stuff, but in the premium, you do get to be notified when it's read, which is brilliant because um, it's sort of like WhatsApp. When you see the messages go through, you can see the tick tick, and that's a good indication that it's been read. One thing that I like down here is the send later option. This works really well on the Mac version, which I'll show you in a bit. But basically here, you can actually, so basically here, you can actually organize when you want to send it. It's quite a nice feature. Uh, it's something that Boomerang does pretty well, which is another Gmail add-on uh, and also 365 and all that add-on. But I really enjoyed that feature. Uh, quite clear buttons at the bottom for obviously reply forward and everything like that. But the one thing that I was a little confused is I've used Cloud Magic before, and, and which was lucky, but there were a few new icons. So as you can see, you know, you can hit these icons, but I guess mentally you have to sort of 
understand an email application before you used it because some of these icons might not make sense. So for example, uh, the thumbs down is actually spam. So if I hit spam, it gets marked as spam. Obviously I can undo it there as well. Um, and that's uh, actually like red and unread, which, you know, some of these buttons you have to sort of get used to. So over here, obviously you've got your superchargers. Superchargers are basically your premium features. You can actually change where you see snooze and how, what is an afternoon to you and you can change the details of snooze, which is quite nice. Uh, I quite like that feature. Connected apps is basically where you can connect your applications to another service like OneNote, Trello, Todoist, Asana, Salesforce, Zendesk, uh, Evernote and Pocket. Uh, all brilliant applications. Sender profiles are nice. So for example, if I'm in my feed and I'm ooh, doo -doo, and I'm going through this, let's say I want to go to Gmail and I'm like, okay, Terra Dispreccio and I tap her. Here, uh, you can see an actual overview of all of her website and a brief description, which is quite nice. I mean, that does save you a little bit of time when you're sort of scrolling through, which is good, good news. So just going back to this area here, as you can see, as you can see, you can edit your, your details, uh, which is great. As you can see here, I've been subscribed until 2036. Um, you can also go on the help and settings. There's information on the general about how you can actually edit this. I think to be honest, all of the features inside of an email application that are really about customizing your experience is important. And Newton Mail does have a good range of these. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to the PC version and sort of show you some of the core features on the Mac version. Um, one thing that I would say about the iOS version and also the Android version is the, the experience is very consistent. There's not much of a change from Cloud Magic. The design itself is very crisp, easy to use. So I'm going to jump onto the Mac and actually show you a few of the details on the Mac so that you have an experience of both of these. Okay, so this is the Mac OS application, and as you can see here, I've got the Gmail open. First things first, the design is fairly similar to the iOS version and Android version. The experience here is very clean. One thing I noticed when I started out is that they've gone so minimalist with this, but I really am enjoying the experience so far. So as I just click into this one, as you can see, it's sort of you know, only shows the actual display. There's no ads around the side. It's a lot of white space. Um, you've got your icons up here as you're going through them. There's a lot of keyboard shortcuts in this as well. So you can actually scroll through using the keyboard, uh, which is quite nice. So another thing you can do is obviously star them all along as you go through, but you can also, you know, snooze them, delete them, archive them. Uh, put them in folders or actually put them as unread or without even going to there. And as you can see, they've got a selection of, so if I press T over the top of this one, it would go into snooze mode. Snooze mode works in the same as, you know, the, what I just suggested on the, um, on the iOS version. Up here, you've got a starred area, which will clear out stars and any general unread over here as well. Um, so that's sort of a nice opportunity for you to get stuck in, which is quite cool. So for example, if I wanted to send a email to myself, for example, uh, test, uh, hello. Um, if I was sending this one and I didn't want, uh, you know, I send it now and I'm like, oh no, I accidentally didn't want to send that. I can click undo and it actually brings it back. It actually doesn't actually send that email whatsoever. So that person won't get an notification. Um, as you can see, I did not get any notifications from there as well, um, and that won't actually send. Uh, it also saved it quite nicely as a draft. But for example, if I wanted to send um, an email as a test email, but I wanted to send it later, that's one of the features that is really good, so you can actually be specific. So if I want to say some, tomorrow at 10 a.m., it would pop up then uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, then it natively posts that on the outbox, which is quite nice. Um, I've been using a service called Boomerang for the last year, as I mentioned. It's pretty impressive. Uh, the fact that this can do it natively saves a lot of time. Um, one thing I do like about uh, when you're composing an email is, for example, if you wanted to, in advance, notify yourself when that person had just read it, because these emails send direct read receipts. This is how you do it. Once clicking that, you can actually get a notification when someone is reading it. You can also remind yourself to reply. That's obviously the snooze feature. Uh, the email comes back into your system 
uh, and pops up there, which is quite nice. So I could put that as tomorrow at 10 a.m. Um, you can also obviously put any attachments in, which quite looks quite nice. One thing I really like about this is you can switch over very simply or delete right down here. Um, very easy to do. One thing I do like is the simplicity of this application. As I keep saying, it is one of the oh cleanest applications out there. There's a nice sync button down here as well. Um, if I wanted to, um, I could go up here and, and see some of the changes that you can make. There's really not that many differences. You can hit preferences to sort of get go into more detail with your email signature, notifications. You can also multi-select as you go through and actually edit them in a, a, as a sort of collective. Um, and you can view your account up here and any detailed settings as I just showed you there. I'm really impressed by the Mac OS application, but let's go back and see what my overall review is. Of total experience of using Newton Mail. I used Newton Mail for a week, very impressed. Um, as a student, someone who doesn't have a, a lot of income to spare, $40, uh, sorry, $50 per year is quite an expensive commitment, especially for an email application. If you look at some of the competitors like Airmail, um, you know, they're on iOS and Mac, you can get them collectively for $15. So really what does it, why does Newton Mail, you know, deserve the $50 mark? I think it's sort of reliability and premium experience. A lot of email apps sort of look a bit messy and a little bit sort of all over the place. When I was using Newton Mail, the thing that I liked is the macOS application. The, the macOS application was really nice actually. It sort of cleared, it was very clear and um, there was really no distractions to it. Um, it had a lot of nice features as well. Um, the send um, function, the send later function, this font, just everything felt nice. It felt clean and like I want to send an email versus it being messy. Um, the iOS application did the same, although I think they should tweak a few things about. Um, I wouldn't personally put my money into this as of yet. I would probably like to expend the first 14 days. So yeah, first to 14 day free trial. So play around with that. And then I would sort of make my decision. Um, it's impressive. Uh, I definitely recommend it for people who are looking for a reliable, consistent experience. One thing I noticed was that the offline experience was very good on the Newton Mail. I keep on saying Cloud Magic. Um, you know, when you're working offline and you want to do some emails, you know, Apple Mail is sort of the only app that really works quite strong. So that's one of the things I like. Anyway, guys, I hope that was a useful video for you. I hope it went through all the features that you were checking out before, you know, actually going into detail with Newton Mail. But what I wanted to do is uh, leave all the links in the description so you can actually download Newton Mail and sort of get started with it if you're keen. But I just want to thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It will be up here or somewhere like that. But I'm really thankful for anyone who does subscribe because it obviously helps me uh, make more videos. Thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.